Good morning everyone. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. This week we are going to start our term 3 which is our last term for this academic year. We are going to continue our unit number 4 which is it's about time. This unit we already started before the holidays. So we are going to continue this unit and the topic which we are going to do today is punctuation. All of you please take out your student book page number 43. The objective of our lesson today is to understand the importance of punctuation in writing to be able to punctuate simple sentences correctly. As you all have done this topic punctuation in your previous grades also so you must be knowing what is punctuation. punctuation marks such as full stop comma question mark and speech mark are used in writing to clarify the meaning in this slide you can see many punctuation marks there is full stop also question mark quotation marks that that is the speech marks also apostrophe exclamation mark comma colon semicolon students i'm sure you have taken out your student book take out page number 43 and keep your fingers on the words punctuation it is difficult to read when there are no full stop as you can't see where one sentence ends and the next one stops when sentences are not punctuated with full stop exclamation marks or question marks to show they have ended we say they are run on sentences when commas are used instead of full stop we say there is a comma splice problem students what do you mean by run on sentence i tell you a run on sentence occurs when two or more independent clauses are connected improperly students i'm sure you have taken out your student book take out page number 43 and keep your fingers on the words punctuation it is difficult to read when there are no full stop as you can't see where one sentence ends and the next one stops when sentences are not punctuated with full stop exclamation marks or question marks to show they have ended we say they are run on sentences when commas are used instead of full stop we say there is a comma splice problem students what do you mean by run on sentence i tell you a run on sentence occurs when two or more independent clauses are connected improperly students in our following slides we are going to see different punctuation marks with their examples the first one is full stop what do you mean by full stop the full stop comes at the end of the statements and commands they are used when we have finished saying one thing and we are going to say something else for example it is raining today do not interrupt me do not interrupt me you are giving a order a command to someone full stop comes in the end of it also our next punctuation mark is question mark we always use question marks when a question is asked for example can you all hear me she is asking a lady is asking a question and you can see at the end we put a question mark our next punctuation mark is comma comma is used to separate a list it is used to give pause it is also used between the date and the year for example it was december 24th comma 2001 when there is a comma you give a little pause in that moment It just imagine students if there is no comma between 24 and 2001 will it make a sensible sentence no our next punctuation mark is exclamation marks exclamation marks are used to indicate strong feelings and to show emphasis it could be to show excitement emotions or feelings for example if you are excited to see a huge dog so you will at once say that is a huge dog 
and the exclamation mark will come in the end of the sentence. Our next punctuation mark is speech marks. We let the readers know when someone is speaking by putting speech marks around the spoken words. For example, I am going out, announced Jimmy. What are you doing? asked the mother. Our next punctuation mark is capital letters. Students, you remember whenever you are writing, I am always reminding you that begin your sentence with a capital letter. Or when you are writing a proper noun, the first letter of that word should be capital letter. We need these capital letters in the beginning of a new sentence. Or for the proper nouns which are the names of people, places, book and titles. For example, Ali who lived in King Street had a pet frog who liked to jump in the air. He wrote a book about it called The Leaping Frog. Now you can see in this three lines that Ali, which is the name of a boy, the first letter is written capital. King Street, it is the name of the street, so the letters are in capital. He, the H is written in capital. Why? Because this is the beginning of a new sentence. The Leaping Frog, they all are written with capital letters. Why? Because this is the name of the book. Now students take out your copy book and we will be doing this exercise 1 in the copy book. Now the question is punctuate the following sentences by placing the full, full stops after each predicate. Predicate means a part of a sentence. The first predicate has been underlined for you. Students do this exercise 2 also in your copy book which says that rewrite these paragraphs correctly by filling in the missing punctuation marks and capital letters. So do put the capital letters, commas and full stop wherever it is needed. 